Hello everyone, I'm Bill Chapin, one of the members of the pastoral team here at Capitol. And I wanted to share our prayer focus for today. It comes from the book written by James. Let me share what he says in chapter one and verse five. From the Amplified Bible, it says, if any of you lack wisdom to guide him through decisions and circumstance, ask of our benevolent God who gives to everyone generously. There are many places and people we could turn to obtain wisdom. But James says, don't forget to turn to God. Don't forget to ask God for wisdom. Wisdom. It's about yes and no. What's right or wrong, should or shouldn't. I learned that lesson at Disneyland over 30 years ago. My son and daughter had asked me to join them on the teacup ride. It looks like a giant teacup with uh, the saucer, and I discovered it goes really fast. I wish I had some wisdom then. I said yes when I should have said no. It, it was the wrong thing to do. The whirling, twirling, spinning left me fighting to keep my morning breakfast still inside my tummy instead of on the floor of the teacup. I was losing control. Beads of sweat were dropping and forming puddles. To accept the invitation to ride the teacup was not my wisest choice. Wisdom. Wisdom helps us to make the right choices. Wisdom helps us to prevent losing control. Here's my prayer. I'm asking God, the help of the Holy Spirit, to make the right choices. Holy Spirit, I'm listening. I, I want to know. I want to know what's best. I want to know if it's yes or no. I want to know should I or shouldn't I. I want to know what's the wrong and right choice. Lord, give me that wisdom. Keep me from being out of control. Keep me from losing control. I need wisdom from you. Would you join me in that prayer today? Oh God, give us wisdom.